is a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started Ladies with the official introduction. This here is, is Bruce Buff. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 120 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, Big. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice loop and punch. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Oh, man, these strikes are really starting to pile up. He's not taking a breather up against the fence. He's trying to end this fight. He is working so hard in this position. It's really exciting to watch. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Checks that leg kick. Well, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Big knee lands right through the 
midsection. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop, John, stop. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to the ring. Back and forth we go. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Great action to get to that takedown. Oh! Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition. The side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. I need you to fight out of that. Not tapping out tonight. Yo, guys, look! All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Past the two-minute mark in round one. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DJ. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannis. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Missed with that attempt. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Great punch. Slips the punch. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. All right, single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the bottom. Oh. News hurts. Serve oh. Voicing its appreciation after that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Blocks that kick to the body. What a punch. Wow, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Big kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Right hand upstairs. Oh, collar tie. 
Nice shot to the body. And they separate. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take... Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to the position. Got another beautiful takedown. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. He loaded up with that right hand, too. He gets right back up. I mean, what an angle. If he would have rolled in the baby, he would have screwed the top of his Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Huge knee lands from the close. Beautiful uppercut there. And now he's got the tie catch. Oh, oh, he's, he's hurt bad. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! And a knee. Both guys landing with conviction now. Me. Battling for hooks. Leg kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Punch to the body is blocked. Good punch land. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. I need you to scramble, scramble. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, oh, nice. oh. oh he's hurt bad. Man. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Nice straight punch. Slips the punch. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Mentally, probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. 
but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Third round underway. Jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. I need you to get control of his wrist. Well, you know I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> He engages in a single collar tie here. Nice. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really is. Oh! Position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They'll... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest. At two minutes, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.